Hello my friends, today we have one of the most interesting products I can actually show you guys on this channel and it's the newest router when it comes to Asus Zen Wi-Fi series and now I'm very excited because I actually reviewed the older version of this series and I love this router, it's one of the best that I have ever tested, it has a lot of new features, the biggest one is the speed boost you're going to get and I'm going to tell you all about it today. So let's begin by just doing a quick unboxing. I have all of the stuff here on the table. I actually got three units with this. There is a different version you can get with two units but basically each of these units is a mesh node. Now the AX3000 is actually the label that means the speed that you're gonna get with this new version and that's 3000 megabits per second when you are basically counting all the different bands on this device. The big thing about Zen Wi-Fi XD5 is this. This is it guys. That's the unit itself and as you can see it's so small. I'm actually going to compare it to my mobile phone so you guys can see how small it is. Now you can basically hide these units anywhere in your house. From a marketing standpoint this is just basically means Wi-Fi everywhere with a huge range and speed boost now with the XD5 version. So let's just take a look at everything that we get in the box. I have my mobile phone here because I'm going to show you the app that you will be able to control these units with and also you can see that we got a bunch of manuals over here. We got the ethernet cable which I actually haven't used as I have already a fast uh, ethernet cable connected. Now I want to point out now for you guys that are actually uh, throwing away these cables Cables. Usually when you buy a new router you're getting a high speed cable. Usually it's a CAT 5E labeled cable so definitely use these and not throw them away because some people actually still use an older cable that's not CAT 5E as you can see on the label over here and that means that you're not going to get the full bandwidth option if you are actually using this with not an updated cable. We get adapters for uh, different power options and we will look at my power adapter over here as you can see I'm using the 220 uh, watts option, uh, volts option sorry and we also get these screw pack. Now you're getting three of these as I got three of these units which are already scattered around my house and each unit as you can see is small. We talked about it. The thing is is that you want to hide these. Uh, you want to create, if you want to create a smart home that doesn't have like huge uh, routers or mesh units everywhere like with other products. Now I have uh, the connections over here I'm going to talk about in a moment because the big thing about these is that you can actually still connect LAN devices to these units. You have two LAN ports and you can use both of these on the nodes that are not basically connected as the primary node to your modem. So for example one of these will connect to your modem via the one port and the others will have two available LAN ports. There is also the DC in which is going to be connected on all of these units. That's basically where you jack in the power. There's a WPS switch for quick connectivity to a new device and the reset switch over here. This is where you will be able to connect this to the wall. Now the big thing about this specific node is that you can hide it vertically. You can connect this to the wall and then you can basically um, add it up to your power socket or whatever you have on your walls and totally hide it. That's an interesting thing. It comes in also black color other than this white version. Using the app right now and basically the app lets me know about everything that I can do with these units. The first thing I'll be able to see is that I already have more than 20 devices connected right now to my Zen Wi-Fi. I can press on each of the nodes. I can get information on what's plugged in via LAN or actually what's plugged in via Wi-Fi. And for me, the biggest thing is the family management. So I can, for example, just as you can see right now, define that some specific products on my house that use Wi-Fi needs to be limited. So I can basically manage their internet activity with this app. I can also limit their internet activity. I can define that on specific hours there is no Wi-Fi connectivity 
with these specific uh, products, for example, the kid's mobile phone. Also, I can add specific features like trend micro security, and actually I can even add allowance time. For example, if the kids has, uh, is behaving nicely, I can give him specific time or extra time actually uh, to use the internet. So that's some new features that I love on the parental controls. Now I wanna show you how this works. Basically, this is the parental controls page. I can schedule a block right now, so I'm adding a new device, as you can see, I have my devices over here. Let's add this one. And when I'm adding this device, I can schedule if I want it to be offline at specific hours or if I want it to be online at specific hours. So for example, let's schedule an offline schedule, which means that, for example, every day at 10 o'clock at night, this mobile device will not have internet on weekdays. So weekend is not gonna be limited for this specific product. And let's just add it up. As you can see, it's already there. All the information has been uh, submitted and now I can have this device uh, back basically locked whenever this specific time occur. Now this is nice, you don't have to install any software, specific apps on the mobile phone, whatever, tablet, you control everything via the router. Now this router also has some more advanced features like VPN, which you could use to connect to your home network from outside and use your home network as a gateway. Now, one of the biggest features for me when choosing an, an AI mesh supported router like this one is that it's AI mesh technology. That means that I can actually keep these products and use them as time goes with newer AI mesh models to increase my network uh, coverage. Not many other companies actually have this specific backwards compatibility. So when you're buying one of these, you can actually support yourself when new versions come out, you just have to get an AI mesh supported device like this one. So all in all, Asus has done, I mean, great things with this upgrade. The coverage on this is huge. They are talking about 700 meters and you can actually get in terms of speeds, uh, really high speed with it, enough to cover one gigabit connection for sure. My mobile phone gets 1200 megabits per second and that's uh, nice. And also if you are looking for speeds higher than that, Asus has better options, which I will talk about in the future on this channel. So if you need speeds and not to hide routers and so on, there are different products from Asus for that. So this is using the 160 megahertz channel. However, many products still do not support it, including many mobile phones. So you practically get, if you are watching this video as it was released, uh, around 1200 megabits for most of your devices when they are using the Wi-Fi 6 or the 5 gigahertz band, but you are future proof with this. So all in all, a huge upgrade for me at least when it comes to speeds with this AX3000 from Asus, the Zen Wi-Fi XD5. It's a welcome upgrade and I definitely recommend it as I've been recommending Asus older model, the XD4. I'm gonna basically install this at my office. I have a lot of devices over there. These routers are really well suited for environments where you have many devices and you wanna have them connected and they are scattered around large areas like in my case. So thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, press the subscribe button so you'll see my future reviews of the X-T9, which is a higher bandwidth version of this, a bit larger, and you will definitely enjoy that one if you enjoyed this one. Uh, but I still recommend for most households this specific version as it will be more than enough to deal with what the internet connectivity of most users currently consume. Thank you very much for watching. I was Otto D. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye-bye.